Today we're joined by Ginny Isbell, who's the Doctor of Pharmacy at Madison Drug in Alabama. Thank you for joining us today, Ginny. Thank you, Linda. Can you tell us what being an LDN specialist means to you? Um, we work with LDN every day, um, and so I just think it's important to keep up with the the information that's coming out. Um, I'm thankful that you bring together so many high quality speakers every year and discuss such a wide variety of of topics that allows us to be able to keep to keep up with that information. Um, one of your speakers said it takes 17 years um, for clinical research to get to clinical practice and. As a pharmacist, I believe it's important for us to keep up with the, the information that's out there and bring that to patients and prescribers earlier when that can actually benefit. I love that this class contained information on dietary recommendations and lifestyle recommendations, as well as the pharmaceutical treatments, because all of these can be beneficial to people who are dealing with inflammatory or autoimmune conditions. So we always try to keep up with what y'all have on your platform and the LDN masterclass allowed me to receive CE credit for that and also a certificate. So um, I thank y'all for putting that on. How did you find studying and taking the exam? It was a lot of time. So it was, it was, you know, a lot of hours listening to listening to the research and some of the the speakers I wanted to listen to, you know, more than once, or I had to repeat a couple of things just to to kind of you know, really get what they were saying. And so I, I, you know, it was, it was good, but it was, it was, it was a lot of, of information. Um, the, the test was, was good. It was very um, inclusive, contained a lot of different disease states, a lot of different, you know, ways to treat things. Um, loved learning different ways that people are um, titrating the LDN now. Um, using, um, you know, we've heard about even lower doses than starting with the 0 0.5 or 1.5. So, um, so just hearing how people are using it differently. And what difference do you think it will make in the day to day of running the pharmacy? Yeah, so just keeping up with that information allows me to answer patients questions. So when they come in and have a specific d disease state, you know, we can, we can assure them that yes, somebody else, we have heard of other people using it for that disease state or just knowing, you know, the more you know, the more you can help patients. Mm -hmm. And of course, the list of disease states increases all the time. There's always new, right, new things right. coming along. Yes. It keeps on yeah. growing. And so when somebody knows that somebody else has tried it for that, yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's always something new to learn. So that's what's what's fun about compounding and working with the things that we work with. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Well, thank you very much for having joined us. And we look forward to learning more about you. All right. Thank you.